Toronto. Mint's mandate is to promote and support documentary filmmakers and musicians, okay? So Mint screens socially and environmentally focused documentaries, like I said before. We host discussions that inspire positive change. Mint creates an open environment for non-profit agencies to reach new audiences. Those are the main points. This is a breakdown. So Mint's mandate, again, is to support local documentary filmmakers and musicians. How do we do that? We provide opportunities for musicians and filmmakers to reach new audiences, which is desperately needed. A lot of funding is, is drying out. Actually, our first filmmaker, Liz Marshall, I went to the Plan and Focus Film Festival, and that's where I met her, and she won the documentary of the year that year in 2010. And she said, Glenn, you've got to do something to support documentary filmmakers. I don't know if you know the phrase, but documentary filmmakers are referred to as a dying breed, and we don't want them. We really want to support them, and they're doing great work. Uh, can you just back it up? I just want to read that louder. And we also compensate the filmmakers, okay, financially for each stream. Even when we're doing a benefit, like our, our November 10th diabetes benefit with the Diabetes Foundation, we pay the musicians because we really believe they're, they're contributing valuably to the community and should be rewarded. Next slide. Okay, so, uh, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, oh, yeah, right, good. So, talking about our second point. Um, we screen socially environmentally focused documentaries. Why do we do that? Because we want to inform people on a variety of subjects. Our current environmental and social problems demand an active citizenry to affect positive change, and that's what we're about. We host discussions that inspire positive change. Our guest speakers, they expand the theme of the movie. We, uh, in um, May, we had Thomas Greco, who's an international expert on local currencies and economies. He came up, he actually did two seminars, which we'll talk about a little later. But these guest speakers really give people the tools to start their own currency if they want, start a CSA, all of those things. Open format allows audience members to become engaged and ask questions, that's really important. Audience members then discover how they can make a difference, uh, and solution-based discussions naturally occur in that environment. Audience members lead each training, inspired, supported, and empowered to make a difference in their community. And uh, yeah, so and then it creates an open environment also for nonprofit agencies to reach new audiences, because a lot of the time that's what it's about. Um, then Paris filmmakers with representatives of the nonprofit sector. For example, we work with Council of Canadians, Greenpeace, uh, Transition Toronto, a host of others. Um, it, it, sorry, uh, with the themes that are outlined with our films. So uh, when we're doing something on the economy, it's a natural fit for Transition Toronto, so they were part of that. The discussion underscores the relevance of the nonprofit agencies, which we all know we're doing good work, but it's important to let other people know that. Okay? Um, just wait until I tell you to go. Okay. So, I'm going to go through our screenings, okay? Our first screening was Water on the Table. We did. How many people know about these films, for example? Okay, raise your hands. Water on the Table, who knows about that? Okay, great. You know what? That's a great movie. Everybody should be raising their hand because it's an awesome movie. It's won the International Award. Earth Keepers, Sylvia Van Barant from uh, Quebec. Who's seen that one? It's a great movie, again, about a person going out on a quest to try and figure out solution based uh, solutions to environmental problems. It's a beautiful film. We want to get people to see these films. Economics, Happiness, and Oil was a double feature that we did. Peter Mettler. Who knows Peter, Peter Mettler? I'm sure a lot more hands will go up. An award-winning film director. His short was uh, screened and cut ours, and we also did Metropolis because we we're very concerned about what's happening with the tar sands, right? Sounds Like Revolution was our September screen. Phil Oaks. How many people have heard of Phil Oaks? <laughs> Great. And uh, I encourage you to check him out because he was actually probably more pivotal figure in the social movement in the 60s than Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan was more commercial, but Phil Oates really cut to the heart of the problems that were happening, and his songs really need to be spread out, and that's what we're trying to do. Our next screen is on November 10th, and it's I Have a Little Sugar, it's on diabetes. So we're working with the Diabetes Foundation to try and promote that. Next slide. So, this is our water on the table. So Liz Marshall, we're trying again to make people aware of their local directors, right? Liz has done great stuff. Um, Daniel actually did a short on a water. It was wonderful. He was an inspired, uh, kind of a, an up and coming director, but his short was really great, so we want to give him the chance to screen it at our festival. Peter Mettler's Way. 
screen. We had MTV host Derek Forgey, uh, For, uh, Forgey from, uh, he came representing the Players Institute. If you go to our Facebook page or our website, it's really funny um, about, I don't know, three or four minutes where he really slams the bottled water industry. It was really funny. He did an eight minute comedy routine before the screening of films. It was amazing. Council of Canadians, Players Institute, and the Toronto Dollar. Maude Bars and Barlow actually wrote a personal endorsement for our festival. Tony Clark did as well. It was all printed in the program. And there's copies of the program at our table if you want to check it out. Next slide. And, oh yeah, we're going we're gonna to play a movie. So uh, the trailer for Wire on the Table. So we'll just play this. And, 